Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back here to episode 12 now of the Sacramento Kings My League series here on NBA 2K18. We are starting off 32 games into the season and we are the ninth seed in the Western Conference. You guys basically said in the comments to give Antonio Blakeney more minutes and less minutes to Roberson, so I did just that. And Bagley is still day-to-day -day with the collapse along, so if you guys just enjoy the series, drop a like if you guys do enjoy it. And... We are going to be simulating up to the trade deadline today, and then next episode will be the trade deadline. Maybe we should make a big move. I don't know. You guys got to let me know in the comments. Hopefully, we can continue to win games. There we go. Bagley is back. Let me get him back in the rotation. So, obviously, a lot less minutes will be going to Giles and Mo Wagner, um, Roberson, and then Frank Mason. Okay, hold on. So, we got 22. Let's just move him up. There we go. Hold on. Okay, so let's give 35 to Jokic, 31 to Dumbia, 31 to Grimes, 33 to Fox is good. So I would like to get 31 to Bagley. So Blakeney, you're going to get 26. Giles at 20. Okay. Frank Mason, you're going to get 9. Wagner, you're going to get 11. We're going to give 14 to, uh, eh. yeah, we'll give him 14. And then we're going to give actually 30 to Dumbia and 31 to Bagley. So that's the rotation. And everybody's healthy, which is good. And let's keep simulating. Just like that, like I just said, we were the 19. Now we're up to the 15th. I do want to see how our players in the G League are doing. Well, Mellow Ball is averaging, let's see, 17 points, 7 assists. He's only up 1 overall, really. It's 2 of 74. Anybody else that was in the G League? Who else was in the G League? Tilly, he's a 77. Just still solid. I mean, we're going to need backup uh, bigs anyway if we don't win at all, obviously, this year. Because Giles, he's probably going to ask for like 9 or $10 million in free agency, and I really don't want to throw him that when we have depth at this position. No need to really throw that much money at him. And okay, we're on a six-game winning streak. Let's go. We are the five seed here. We just dropped to the six seed. Okay, seven-game winning streak. Eight-game winning streak. Okay, well, there goes our eight-game winning streak. We did lose to the Warriors. I mean, a fairly good team to lose against. Now, let's just keep... Let's keep simulating. Let's keep riding the wave here. Quentin Grimes day-to-day. -day. There was a Doombia day-to-day injury. As we are 26 and 16 on the year, make that 27 and 16. Let's go. Okay, like we're start like our last 12, 13 games, we have to be like 12 and one. Jonathan Simmons for a mellow ball. And can we beat the Pelicans? Nope. We do pick up the L against the Pelicans. The Pelicans are yeah right below us in the standings. Beat the Magic back to back. I think two away games in a row. I'm not taking Delta Nova. Fox has a sore left ankle. It's day-to-day. -day. Having a lot of day-to-day -day injuries is kind of annoying, but as long as they're not long-term injuries. As we are 14 games over 500, we have jumped up to the three seed. We are killing it in this video. We do pick up a rare L against the Mavericks. I mean, actually, the Mavericks are good this year, so I wouldn't say a rare L. And we are on a two-game losing streak. Now, I think I simulated to right here, just before the All-Star break. So if we were to make any moves... The only players I think I would be fine trading would be Harry Giles. I mean, I'm really cool with Roberson because I really like his contract. Like, what could I get for Giles and Thornwell? Like, could I get, like, a better backup center that's, like, maybe under contract for two years? But, I mean, like, I don't know. I re Like, a first-round pick, honestly, wouldn't be bad. Like, the Cavs, would they just do this? Like, I'm cool working out, like, Harry Giles getting a first-round pick for him. <coughs> Like, something like this, Giles and Thornwell, two players that, like, I really don't see playing. Well, Thornwell definitely not playing this year, and Giles, I don't see on the team next year. We take on Jang's contract, he'll never play for us, but then we get a first-round pick. I think that's pretty good value, because next year, obviously, we have Killin' Tilly coming up. He'll be the back of power forward. I can move Mo Wagner back to, um, back to center, and I think we're good there. So, I think that's what we should do. Let me know in the, um, in the comments below what we should do, though. So, there's the deadline. Let's try to hop into a game today. Um, Spurs, we could up against, let's see, this Clippers. Are we going to get a close game here? Are we Are going to kind of blow them out? We're going to blow them out. Hey, I'll take it. We won by 40. Fox up 22 and 7. Bagley 20 and 9. Mo Wagner, 16 points in 11 minutes. They have Gary Harris there in LA. Gary Harris and Tobias Harris, which is cool. Spurs at home. Um, we're going to hop into this. Uh, actually, we'll face the Cavs no matter what. Because, yeah, the Cavs is right before the deadline. Blakeney, 21 off the bench. Grimes, 21. Grimes is basically putting up what Buddy Heald was putting up for $15 million cheaper. That's kind of why I traded Buddy Heald. So, let's keep simulating here. Uh, we're going to hop into this game no matter what the score is, and we're blowing out the Cavs. I'm pretty sure they still have LeBron. 
Um, I mean, yeah, we're up by 18. With about four minutes to go, three and a half, 345. I'll see you guys in the game for some gameplay. All right, so here we go. We got Fox almost a triple-double, 11, 8, and 9. That is very nice of a stat line. I kind of want to see. Okay, here's Blakeney. Bagley's in at small. Bagley is 21 and 14. Ooh, Fox down low. Can get a Jokic? Can get a Jokic? Jokic has 19, 7, and 6. And he just misses a layup. Okay, and Blakeney probably, yep, fouled there. Wow, great start. All right, it's Quinn and Grimes in there. Uh, Grimes fouled out. Ah, damn it, Grimes. No, what? Put it. Oh, my God. This game is so dumb with the subs. I literally clearly put in starters, and they don't put them in. Ooh, good D by Jokic. Stein, who we traded back to get Bagley like three years ago. Oh, my God. He's still there in Cleveland. I mean, LeBron's not in. They got Royce O'Neal in at small forward. Ooh, kick it to uh, Roberson. Why is Roberson in? What? I kind of want to foul low-key. I want to get Grimes in. There we go. We're going to foul. No, oh, they're in the bonus. How are they in the bonus this quickly? I mean, we did just foul them, like, twice. I just want Grimes in. Why is Roberson in, too? Did Dumia foul out? Did Dumia foul out? Yeah, Dumia did foul out. Okay, okay. So I'm cool with Roberson being in. What's Roberson's permanent? A+. plus. See, that's huge for the playoffs. Like, I mean, if Dumia is getting, like, his butt kicked, 15 points for Grimes, and, like, we're going up against, like, somebody like a LeBron or Kawhi Leonard or a Kevin Durant, and we need somebody to lock them up, I mean, not lock them up, but Roberson's definitely our best permanent defender. Him and Fox are definitely really good. Grimes for three. Get in there. Ah, he does not get the family bounce. He's got 15, three, and three. That's kind of, that's a very solid rookie year. That's his stat line pretty much for the year as well. He's got zero points here in the second half. He had a good first half, it looks like. Jordan Clarkson's tired. They got Jetty Osman. Yeah, this Cavs team is not the best, especially if LeBron's not even here, which LeBron could not be here. I, I don't know, honestly. All right, five on the shot clock. Jokic in the post. Grimes on Jetty Osman, the way he hits that. Okay, let's go. Good board by Jokic. Let's go, Fox. Use your speed. Use your speed. Can you get a Bagley? Mini money? Bagley, come on. Can somebody hit a shot? Still up by 13, though. Uh, watch me choke this. No way Osman gets that. Do we get the board? We do. Can you get a Fox? All right, Fox. Find Bagley this time. There we go. Bagley's not missing this. Why didn't you dunk it? But okay, Bagley with a monster 23-14 and 14 game. Man, I see him being an all-star. Him and Jokic as a front court is very nice. Because Jokic isn't the greatest rebounding center, but he, he is solid. But Bagley's also a great rebounding center. Um, Bagley's also not the best defensive center in real life, but he's actually getting better. He's actually progressed pretty well in defense in this game. Grimes with the steal. Oh, let's see if he let's see his athleticism here. Off the glass. <laughs> that was embarrassing, Quinn. Okay. That's embarrassing on you, not on me, man. I mean the at home. What was that? Oh, my God. Okay, we get another steal. Redeem yourself. We're going to try it again. Oh, my God. That one was even worse, Quinton. What are you doing? Okay, I think I want him to succeed on it, but Jesus. Uh, yeah, he's just definitely not athletic enough, or I'm doing it too late. <laughs> but we are up by 15 here with a minute, about 80 seconds to go. Oh, I kind of, okay, well, nice turnover, Cavs. Nice turnover. I mean, I'm rocking my, uh, my Yeezus shirt here. Um, really don't have a kind of reference right now, but, um, his Twitter has been very controversial over late, which is, I think it's funny. Uh, Grimes with the rack. All right, he's going to the line. Does he get in one? No, he does not. Has a chance to get 17 points on the game. Has a chance to have 23 right now, but, or 21, but he doesn't know how to make an alley play up to himself. I mean, dude, you just have to lay it in. Like, simply off the glass and just take a layup. I don't expect you to dunk the ball. You're not LeBron or Giannis or, or Westbrook. Oh, good block, Bagley. That was filthy. No, and then Clarkson gets the better of us. All right, still up by 15, though. No. Oh, Bagley's cherry-picking. Bagley is cherry-picking. There we go. 25 and 14 for Bagley. He's killing it this game. All right, let's see what Grimes can do in a pull-up three. Grimes, pull-up three. Money, Quinn Grimes got 20 points, three rebounds, three assists. That's what I'm freaking talking about, Grimes. How did uh, Dumia do this game? I do like Dumia just because he's like a beast. He fouled out early, it looks like. In 13 minutes, he got six fouls. <laughs> Dude, what? How aggressive are you? He did have a plus 17, though, which is very good. I wonder who has the highest plus seven, uh, plus minus, plus 17, plus minus on the team. Wow, that was a very tough layup by Rodney Hood. Now he's going to act like he got fouled. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to run a play for Grimes. Uh, Three-point play, see if we can knock down two in a row, and then that will be my last. My last highlights from this gameplay. Will he be open? He will be. Good enough. 
Quick release. Oh, he doesn't get it, but Bagley. Bagley's too good. 27 and 15. Oh my god. Bagley's out. Wonderful. How? You were just playing fine. A day -to What's with his day-to-day -day injuries where he can't play? Alright, I'm gonna adjust that. I'm just gonna adjust that lineup in the next... Yeah, I'll adjust it in the next video. So let me know what we should do, guys. Also, I did want to check out who has the highest plus-minus on the squad, if I can check that out. Um, is that a stat I can check out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fox is a 5.3, Bagley 4.9. So you can see the starting lineup is very good. The bench is okay. But yeah, that'll be it for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Tilly and uh, Barr are pretty good in the G League right now. Let me know if we should trade Harry Giles for a first-round pick. I think we can definitely land a first-round pick for him. Like a late first-round pick to like a contender. And yeah, so that'll be it for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Hit the like if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.